day two CU Buffs fall camp. Coach Prime's first fall camp in Boulder. Jake Schwanitz, RK, the man, Uncle Neely, who was on the scene for practice number two. We saw yesterday in your video, the coaches were not happy after practice. Not at all. How did they feel today? Uh, more upbeat than yesterday. Uh, it, you got to take some of this with a grain of salt. You know, Coach Prime has a level, a standard that, that most people don't have. That's why he has a gold jacket. And, and so it's never going to be where he's going to say, perfect practice, let's get out of here. Yeah. So so take that with a grain of salt. But but otherwise, the, the energy was just as high as yesterday. Players were flying around. But post-practice, the coaches were more enthused about what they saw today. Uh, Jimmy Horn, player of the day yesterday. Who's player of the day today? Another receiver. I got to go with Zay Weaver, which rhymes with receiver. So, I mean, <laughs> man, Zay Weaver has some hands. And he has got some speed after the catch. Uh, he's number 10, so people are going to be seeing him. I, I think that Zay Weaver and Shadur have a special connection. That is uh, really great to hear. We didn't talk much about Shadur yesterday, mm -hmm. but if yesterday Jimmy Horn's the player of the day, and today Zay Weaver's the player of the day, what does that say about two? <laughs> it says that on the second day of practice, which is a two, he is QB1. And he just wears the jersey, too, because he is putting that ball right where it needs to be. Uh, and you know from social media that their time away from here, those guys traveled together and worked out together, and he has built a phenomenal chemistry with that wide receiver room. Who'd you talk to today? Uh, talked to linebackers coach uh, Andre Hart, talked to defensive end coach uh, Nick Williams, also talked to uh, Coach Brew, Tim Bruce, the tight ends, and, and the three of them separately were upbeat about today's practice and what they saw out of their guys, but more specifically the entire team. Did they do grades today? Didn't do grades today. Okay. Uh, didn't do grades. Uh, but I do think that unit by unit would have been better than yesterday. There were a lot of Fs yesterday, yeah. so it's hard yeah. to get yeah. lower than the F. But you can tell the, the guys responded to that, man. You know, So whether it was coach talk or, or it was just spot on that they didn't do well, they responded to it, and the, the arrow pointed more up today. All right. They didn't get grades. I won't make you give a grade. But yesterday you said it was clear. Offense got the day. Mm -hmm. Who got it today? Not as clear, but still the offense. Okay. Uh, you know, again, man, this defense, this room, like I, I spent the evening uh, last night with the with the D-line, and I looked around the room and just compared it as we got ready for the spring game. There's probably only like two guys in there that were in that same meeting room in April. You know, so it's going to take some time, but it's going to happen before September 2nd. So offense still got the better of the defense today, but it won't be long now before we're in full pads. Yep. And there's a lot of times those defensive guys are saying, hey, I could have got you, but I couldn't get you. Yep. So you're going to see a difference next week. I believe Coach Lewis called that a pillow fight. Yes. They're doing <laughs> practice today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, last one. How's Chef Solomon doing? Did he follow up that performance from night one? You know, it's, it's hard to follow <laughs> up that performance, but he did do great. Yesterday, uh, he laid out a barbecue spread, and then uh, this yesterday evening was a, a, a kind of Asian thing, teriyaki chicken and coconut shrimp. So these guys are getting three meals a day and a PM snack. They're eating good. But here's what Coach Prime tells them. If I give you something, I expect something back. Yeah. Make it that? Hungry, effort. All right. All the right. one thing that they can't coach is effort. They expect effort. All right. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be ready for our show at uh, 1 o'clock.